One of the most unique sailing boats on earth has docked at the VNA waterfront in Cape Town for next week. The French vessel Energy Observer is a laboratory vessel that runs solely on renewable energy. No traditional fuel such as diesel of any kind is used to propel it. It's been at sea for six years on around the world odyssey, spreading the message and showing scientific proof advocating for energy transition. SABC News reporter Mariska Boerter has more for us. We're at the VNA waterfront where behind me an extremely unique vessel is docked. It runs purely on renewable energy and has been sailing the world for almost five years now, uh, leaving the northern part of the world, traveling all around the world and along the way teaching people about the benefits of uh, renewable energy and of course to prove that it can be done. Um, I'm going to step out of shot so you can see more of this magnificent vessel. It was developed from an award-winning legendary catamaran. The Energy Observer is a laboratory and uh, it's for ecological transition designed to push back the limits of zero emission technologies. In other words, they're using renewable energy to power this vessel. As you can see, it is full of solar panels. It's also got a high sail, so they make use of solar and wind as far as possible. But if those options are not sub available, they also use hydrogen. Um, and what they say here in their press release, I'm just going to read a little bit to you. All of these solutions are experimented with, tested and optimized to make clean energy a concrete reality accessible to all. Now, of course, it's also uh, an, an exploratory vessel in terms of testing the technology. So on board, there will be a captain, there's engineers on board. And throughout its journey, it's been testing and uh, tweaking and making sure that the vessel can do what it promises to do, which is sail around the world without the use of fossil fuels in any way, shape or form. It uh, left uh, San, San Malo in 2017, its home port, uh, for its world tour and it plans to end next year back in Paris uh, for the start of the Olympic Games and uh, thus far their journey has been successful. Cape Town is the 80th stop on the tour around the world. They've traveled over a hundred thousand kilometers uh, sailing the oceans with this vessel and I'm also going to ask my colleague Clinton Surf just to pan a little bit to the right where you see two dome shaped uh, little um, housing units there if you could call it that and all of that is on display and open to the public for the next week and of course they can learn all about the energy observer inside those domes uh, to show the adventures it's been on but also what they're trying to achieve and build here um, the next step they say is to prove that a cargo vessel can also run on a mixture of renewable energies and uh, the team of energy observer the project is working on building a massive cargo vessel that they will be testing in the coming years the team we happened to speak to the captain who told us that it's a wonderful experience uh, to be sailing on a vessel that's absolutely quiet there's no noise there's no emission there's no foul smell because they use clean energy all the way and um, they told us the crew told us that um, before they started on this odyssey to to build the energy observer people told them this is impossible it cannot be done well this team says look at us 